Now for the airlift, mountaineering at its best. The choppers head down the valley and out across country. Along the way, you look over the country below and wonder what the poor infantrymen are doing today. Coming in singly and in pairs, the helicopters land on the assembly area ridge. Your unit is deployed for the final attack and the choppers move out immediately. minute check on plans for the attack. So far, you and your classmates have done well. Back to the foot slogging across the muskeg for the simulated assault to end the field exercise. This is the climax of a full day of operations by land, water, and air, designed to test your skill and stamina in every phase of mountain combat. One more hurdle to cross, the final exams. Your instructors put you through the paces on every technique you have studied since your arrival at the school. This test is based on the simple premise that if you give a man enough rope, he gets tangled up in it. But you've learned a lot about rope coiling in the past six weeks. It's up to you now to prove that the Army's confidence in your ability to learn was not misplaced. Here's one of your classmates acting as the number one man in party climbing. Is he selecting the proper route? How about his choice of hand and footholds? Does he give the proper signals? These are the questions to be carefully considered by the grading instructor. One of the instructors, Horizontal Harold by name, is back on the job here, simulating another casualty while a student demonstrates the proper method of securing an injured man on a litter. An examination in military mountaineering wouldn't be complete without a test in rappelling. This student's technique in the hip rappel shows that the instruction given has been absorbed. Though there may have been times when you never expected to see it, graduation day has come. The commencement address is given by a guest speaker from United States Army Headquarters, Alaska. The top student is honored with the award of a trophy, symbol of highest proficiency. And then the moment each of you has waited for through six weeks of hard work, the presentation of the diploma, which marks the Army's fullest confidence in your mountaineering abilities. This is the recognition of your competence to lead combat soldiers under the most difficult conditions of the rugged North Country. Next morning, transport planes warm up to return you and your fellow graduates to your home units.
suddenly you realize you have learned a great deal more than the physical skills and special techniques required in the course. You have a new awareness of self-reliance and a new respect for the courage, determination, and group effort needed by a military mountaineering team. Equally important, you have discovered that the sheer cliffs and bleak tundra of the far north are no longer insurmountable obstacles to military operations. Returning to your home unit, you bring with you a soldier's pride in your increased ability to survive, lead, and fight in one of the world's most hostile natural environments.